Uh, leave it there. Oh, I love this story. And of course the Queensland floods disastrous. But one story of triumph and incredible survival. And the one we're going to tell you about is miraculous. It's about a Queensland resident called Danette. You see, uh, Danette is a cow and she survived a three day three-day 95k journey from country Queensland to the mouth of the Brisbane River. From artistic elephants in Thailand to German octopuses with psychic powers and inspirational dogs like Little Faith. I have never. It's a two-legged dog. Animals from all over the world never cease to amaze us. But few have experienced anything like one Queensland resident and lived to tell the tale. Meet Danette, a two and a half year old Murray Gray cow who has an extraordinary story. On the 11th of January this year during the floods, poor Danette was swept away from her home at Patrick Estate in the Brisbane Valley and was found three days later having swum 95 kilometres to reach the mouth of the Brisbane River. And Danette's owner, Veronica Nutley, still can't believe it. How can a cow float that far? Well, they do say that they can bloat their stomachs up. I don't know if that's true or not. She's a very stubborn girl, so... Yeah. If anyone was going to survive, anybody from her family, they're all like that, so... <laughs> she survived so many obstacles. I mean, there was... I was watching stuff floating down the river. There was pontoons and boats, restaurants, not to mention sharks. And she came away with no cuts and bruises, nothing? No, she didn't have any cuts that um, she picked up on the way. She went, left home with a cut. Did she? And uh, miraculously, that hasn't got infected or anything either. Uh, what cut did she get? She tried to get to a bull next door, so she got a cut off. <laughs> fence before she even left home. Oh, she was frisky. No wonder she survived. She'd have loved her waiting back at home for her. <laughs> She's also super intelligent. Why do you say that? Well, there's another cow that's, um, that has survived the flood, but she got out of the water at the meatworks at Dinmore, so she's still sitting there. Not the, the best, not the best of places to be getting out of the water. That's like going to hell for a cow. <laughs> and I hear the ordeal made her strip a little bit of weight. How yeah. much did she lose? Well, you could really tell she'd lost a lot of weight, so I'd be guessing between at least 100 kilos. So the moral of the story is if you want to lose some weight, you can swim down the Brisbane River. <laughs> when you got the phone call, how did they know that it was your cow? The Brisbane City Council phoned and said that they'd um, identified her as belonging to me from her tag and wanted to know whether she'd been stolen. And I kept saying no. And he wanted to know how did she get there. I said, well, she swam. The heroes of the day were a couple of locals who were on a boat assessing flood damage at the mouth of the Brisbane River. They found poor Danette exhausted but alive and began a marathon effort to pull her onto dry land. We come around the corner and we've seen a uh, floating pontoon, so we went in closer and we've seen this. Uh, cow's head poking out of the water so we got in closer and sure enough uh, Danette was standing in the water and we thought oh, well we can't leave her out here overnight yeah. or she won't last so. So what did you do to save her? Well uh, we made up a lasso and uh, Chris got it over her, her, uh, her neck there and we pulled her in backwards with the boat. How long did it take? Uh, it took about two hours by the time we got it onto the ground. There would have been sharks and everything in the water surely, were you scared? It wasn't the best place to be in the water for the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Push the cow in first. <laughs> well, you guys are heroes. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of heroes in Brisbane at the moment, so uh, <laughs> we just come across a cow that was, uh, you know, had an amazing journey. It's a 95 k. She's a great swimmer. Well, she's one lucky cow, but there are still seven of her herd missing. Do you have anything, perhaps, to say to them in case they're watching right now? Yes, we need the rest of her family to come home. Danette's missing them, and we're missing them too. Well, maybe she was Esther Williams in a previous life. What a lovely, lovely story. Thank you, Emily. Stubborn cow. Where have I heard that before?